वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला दिस मॉड्यूल विल डिस्कस द एटमोस्फेरिक ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ एसिड रेन प्रिकर्सर्स एसिड रेन अकर्स वेन द पी एच ऑफ द रेन वाटर इज लेस देन फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स नॉर्मली द पी एच ऑफ प्योर वाटर मस्ट बी सेवन बट इफ इट इज एसिडिक एंड लेस देन फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स ऑनली देन इट इज कॉल्ड एसिड रेन हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस द सब्सटेंसेज विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस आर कॉल्ड एसिड रेन प्रिकर्सर्स दीज आर सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड्स एन ओ एन एन ओ टू समाइम्स ऑर्गेनिक एसिड्स एंड फ्यू बोर इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस द कैरेटिक्स ऑफ द ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ दीज एसिड रेन प्रिकर्सर्स इट मे बी पॉइंटेड आउट दैट इट इज इन्वॉल्व रिसर्च इट कम्प्लीकेटेड रिसर्च एंड द मेकेजम्स आर डिफिकल्ट टू एक्सप्लेन हियर इन दिस लेक्चर बट आई विल गिव एन आउटलाइन दिस विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द सब्जेक्ट नॉट डिस्कस्ड इन मैनी बुक्स एसिड एंड प्रिकॉशंस आर सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड नॉक्स एन ओ एन एन ओ टू फॉर्मिक एसिडिक एसिड एंड एस टू एस एंड सी एस थ्री एस एस थ्री आउट ऑफ दिस एस टू एस इज फर्स्ट ऑक्सीडाइज टू एस टू एंड देन टू सल्फरिक एसिड द फोटो केमिकल ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड इज इम्पॉर्टेंट नॉट मच केमिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस एज बिन स्टडीड क्वेश्चन इज वेन एसो टू डिजॉल्व इन वाटर इट फॉर्म्स सल्फ्यूरस एसिड एस टू एस ओ थ्री वेन दे डिजॉल्व दे आल्सो फॉर्म एच एन ओ टू देन इफ द एसिड्स आर दे आर वट इज द नीड फॉर देर ऑक्सीडेशन रीजन इज सल्फ्यूरस एसिड इज ए बीक एसिड एच एन ओ टू इज आल्सो बीक एसिड सो इफ दे आर डिजॉल्व एंड बीक एसिड इज फॉर्म देर डिसोसिएशन विल बी स्मॉल एंड दे विल नॉट कॉज एनी सिग्निफिकेंट acidity of rain water and not cause acid rain oxidation of so2 and nox forms very strong acids h2so4 and nh3 which are fully dissociated in water any kind of water rain water cloud water fog water mist and water film and complete 100% dissociation you can assume because we are dilute solutions and this will be hydrogen and hydrogen by both of them so they cause the acidity so it is necessary that these compounds must be oxidized to form strong acids like this and this to cause acidity and actually this happens what we are concerned is here is what is the chemistry behind their oxidation what is the mechanism of their oxidation and how this happens when this so2 and, and they are oxidized into acid the oxidation occurs in both gas and aqueous phases remember the gas phase are always present aqueous phase will present more importantly when there is a rain or when there is no rain even if clouds are in that atmosphere the clouds contain tiny droplets of water so aqueous phase is there even if there are no clouds there is humidity and because of humidity on the surface of buildings leaves or anywhere there is a thin water film so that provides the aqueous phase in the aqueous phase oxidants SO2, NOx, and other acid precursors are what are the ox? What are the oxidants for SO2, NO in gas phase? Hydroxyl radical, hydroperoxy radical, organic radicals, and molecules like ozone, oxygen, and hydrogen peroxide. That is the gas phase oxidation. This always occurs. I will come later on about this hydroxyl radical and these radicals. They are very important in aqueous phase oxidation of SO2. The important oxidations, oxidants are. H2O2, ozone, and O2. This is always present. They are formed in the atmosphere. They are they are secondary pollutants, and this is always present in the atmosphere. It is 21 percent. Oxidation of O2 is by O2 is referred to as auto oxidation, which mainly occurs in aqueous phase in two ways. This one oxidation by O2, uncatalyzed. There is no catalyzed catalysis involved, and second is catalyzed by homogeneous metal ions. and particle surface catalyzed oxidation particle surface is provided by dust particles the metal ions are always present in rain water you to take any sample of water even distilled water the water that is used in injections you will you analyze it you will find metal ion cause for example iron would be around 10 to the power minus 7 pole mole per liter manganese will be 10 to the power minus 8 mole per liter copper will be around 10 to the power minus 6 mole per liter and these small trace metal ions 
consultations are sufficient to cause catalysis. They play important role in these reactions. Homogeneous, this is most important. At this point of time, when there is no rain, there is no water system, there is only gas phase. In gas phase, the most important oxidant is OH radical. I will not discuss here how OH radical is formed, but I may tell you this is known as a scavenger of the atmosphere. This is the most important creation of the God in the atmosphere. Most of the pollutants, they are removed by reaction with OH radicals and this is formed in the atmosphere. This reacts with OH radical in this way and this mechanism has been given by Paul Kurtzen who got the Nobel Prize not for this work but for other work. What happens? SO2 reacts with hydroxyl radical in presence of a third body form to intermediate. Remember what is the purpose of third body? If SO2 and OH react form an intermediate, then the energy released for the removal of extra energy, this M is necessary. M removes the extra energy, otherwise HOSO2 will be in excited state and, and it will be decomposed for SO2OH back. This intermediate is with O2 to form sulfur trioxide. And sulfur trioxide rapidly reacts water to form H2O4. And remember this hydroperoxy radical, this. This is a radical like OH radical, this is hydroperoxy radical. This reacts with NO to form OH, NO2. So OH has been regenerated. So this reaction mechanism has beauty of OH being, a, being an oxidant as well as a catalyst. It is regenerated. This is the, the overall reaction can be written as SO2, OH, O2, H2O, H2O4 and HO2. The kinetics of this reaction has been studied and this is the rate law. The rate of disappearance of sulfur dioxide equal to K into OH into SO2, this. Remember, in this case, OH concentration does not change with time. Therefore, this is the pseudo order reaction, pseudo first order reaction, because I show the first order kinetics. Values of rate constant, K for oxidation of SO2 by different oxidants have been determined are known in the literature. Gas phase oxidation of NO and NO2. The most important fate of NO in atmosphere is oxidation to most by ozone and some radicals. Oxidation by NO by O2 is very slow. NO twice NO plus O2 twice NO2. Subsequent gas phase oxidation of NO2 by OH is major source. This is the major source of OH. This NO plus O3, NO2. NO reacts with HO2 to form NO2. This hydroperoxy radical. RO2, this is organic radical. Instead of H, you have here R. It can be CH3, it can be C2H5. This alkyl peroxide reacts with NO to form O. And this, this must be RO. And this, this is RCO NO2. Uh, this is acetyl alkyl peroxide plus NO gives you RCO2 and NO2. Twice NO plus O2, twice NO2, and OH plus NO2, HNO3. So this reaction involves so many steps, there may be some more steps also. At a daytime, reasonable concentration of HB, NO2 has been estimated to be 1 into 10 to the power 6 molecules per centimeter cube. Its lifetime is one day, it is highly reactive. It doesn't stay for more time. Its residence time is only one day. There are other reactions which can produce HNO3. Gas phase reaction, NO2, oxidation of NO2 by O3 to give you NO3. Now, I will tell you this NO3 is very important radical and it controls the nighttime chemistry. The daytime chemistry is controlled by OH radical, the nighttime chemistry is controlled by nitrate radical. This nitrate radical combines with NO2 to form N2O5 and this N2O5 dissolves in water to form HNO3. This nitrate radicals with hydrocarbons, it abstracts as hydrogen atom and forms HNO3. NO3 reacts with formaldehyde or other radiates abstract at hydrogen atom and forms HNO3 and this radical. In polluted urban atmosphere, the concentration of alkanes, 100 pp excluding methane, formaldehyde and acetate, these are the values of hydrocarbons, they react with nitrate radical. The formation of nitric acid in atmosphere owing to the reaction with alkane aldehyde is estimated to 15 percent during night time. Now come to the aqueous phase oxidation of SO2. Most important thing, first thing is when if reaction is to occur aqueous phase, then the sulfur dioxide which is gas phase must dissolve in water. 
in rain water or cloud water or any form of the water present in atmosphere. So this is governed by this, this way. SO2 dissolves in atmospheric water to form this H2O2 dot H2O or sulfurous acid. This is governed by Henry's law. The values of Henry's law is 1.3 mole liter inverse, second inverse at 25 degrees Celsius. This is a acid, So, but weak, weak acid dissociates HO3 plus H plus K1 equal to 1.7. This is diso first dissociation constant. And this HO3 further dissociates to give sulfidine and adenine. This is the second dissociation constant. The value of second dissociation constant is much less than first dissociation constant. The total concentration of SO2 which is dissolved in water, it is referred to as sulfur 4 because the oxidation state of sulfur in SO2 is 4. Sulfur 4 is the sum of all different species of SO2, SO2 dot H2O, HSO3 negative, SO3 2 negative. Or if SO2 dot H2O from this, can we can write it like this. this from this equilibria, these values, or finally we get this equation 1 plus K2 upon H plus plus K1 K2 upon H plus square. Remember, this H plus is in the denominator, in the drum everywhere. So, if hydrogen concentration decreases, this factor will increase and solubility will increase. So, sulfur will dissolve with more when the pH of the water in present in atmosphere is high. This is relevant to India because here the pH is high. So, sulfur dioxide will dissolve easily in water. There are other atmosphere oxidants are hydrogen peroxide and ozone. Hydrogen peroxide, it is formed by the reaction of HO2 plus HO2 to given you H2O2 plus O2. Hydrogen peroxide is formed by bimolecular combination of hydroperoxy radical. This hydrogen peroxide that is formed in the atmosphere, it has a Henry's law constant or its Henry's law constant is high 7 to 10 to the power 4 liter mole inverse atmosphere inverse at 25 degrees C. Okay, so it readily dissolves in atmospheric water. Reported value of H2O2 is 0 0.1 to 8.8 .8 into 10 to the power minus 6 cloud water, 1.7 10 to the power minus 5 rain water, this mole per liter. This react the mechanism of this reaction is quite involved. I am not discussing it. The overall oxidation reaction is 1 mole of H2O2 reacts with 1 mole of sulfur 4 to give you sulfur 6 that is sulfate ion. The rate of this reaction, kinetics of this rate of reaction has been studied and found to be KH2O2 into HSO3 concentration hydrogen ion plus H square plus upon K2 H plus H plus this reaction. In sum it can be said that rate increase with increase in hydrogen ion concentration or decrease in pH. Yes. At high hydrogen concentration, because it is a square here, the rate of H2O2 oxidation of the sulfur 4 dissolved water will increase. This is the mechanism. HSO3 gives you H plus sulfide ion. HSO3 react with H2O2 to form this. This species, this is peroxidic species, this. And this reacts with HA, any proton donor to give you this plus plus, this is a proton donor. This path is important where pH is. The range 5 to 6. So, this is important when the pH of the rainwater is low. Oxidation by ozone. In troposphere, ozone is usually found to be 30 to 60 ppv volume range. The, its its Henry's law constant is low. It is 1 into 10 to the power minus 2. Remember, hydrogen peroxide had a very high Henry's law constant, 7 into 10 to the power 4. Whereas it is only 1 into 10 power minus 2. But its atmospheric concentration is very high as compared to hydrogen peroxide. This is the oxidation reaction. The balanced equation says O3, OH negative plus SO3, sulfate, H2O2. So this is catalyzed by at high OH ion concentration, this reaction is fast. The rate, the kinetics rate loss is K2 into ozone concentration into sulfur 4 concentration. A very simplified mechanism is this O3 reacts with sulfide type, forms an intermediate which intermediates breakdown to give you sulfate and oxygen. In region where the rain water pH is high, more than same in, for example, Western India, oxidation by ozone will be more important than oxidation by hydrogen peroxide. So, it must be remembered when the rain water pH is low, for example, 
Europe and North America, the oxidation by hydrogen peroxide will be more important. Whereas in places like India, where the rainwater pH is high, the oxidation by ozone will be more important. So God has taken care of both the situations. When the pH is low, hydrogen peroxide is the oxidant. When the pH is high, ozone is oxidant. Oxidation of sulfur for by oxygen. This you whether by sulfite ion or sulfite ion both are oxidized by O2. One molecule of this, one mole of this, half mole of O2 give you sulfate ion. Now, even if we take water, laboratory water or rain water or any form of water, we don't add anything to it. We call it an catalyzed reaction. The fact is. There is, it is not truly uncatalyzed because the impurities present in water, for example, iron, manganese, copper, they intervene and catalyze this reaction. So this is actually trace metal ion catalyzed reaction. This reaction is inhibited by organics. If you add organic compound, for example, benzene, the reaction will stop. If you add toluene, the reaction will stop. There are uh, many kinds of organic acids organic compounds which decelerate the rate of this reaction. Ammonia, presence of ammonia decelerates the rate of this reaction. Ammonium side also decelerates this reaction. So this reaction is susceptible to catalysis by metal ions and inhibition by several organic and some inorganic compounds. What is the mechanism of this reaction? This reaction proceeds by a radical mechanism involving oxysulfur radicals. These are this. SO3 negative sulfide ion radical. This is SO4 negative sulfate ion radical. It must be understood sulfate ion is SO4 2 negative. It is SO4 1 negative. So this is called sulfate ion radical. This is peroxomonosulfate ion radical. Peroxomonosulfate ion is SO5 2 negative. This is SO5 negative. So this is only one negative. This is, so each of them has a one unpaired electron. So they are all radicals. The mechanism of this reaction is when in dissolved water there is sulfide ion, the metal ions present as impurity. You have not added from outside, but they present in impurity, reacts like this. This one electron oxidation, this is reduced to M N minus one plus. For example, it is iron three plus, it will be reduced to Fe2 plus. And the sulfate ion, sulfide ion SO3 2 negative is reduced to SO3 negative sulfide ion radical. This like any radical, free radical reaction. There are three most important parts, initiation, propagation, and termination. So this is the initiation reaction. Now propagation, there are four steps. SO3 radical reacts with O2, very fast reaction, to form peroxomonosulfate ion. This peroxomonosulfate ion reacts with sulfate ion, but in two ways, two parallel reactions. One forms sulfate ion radical and peroxomonosulfate ion. This peroxomonosulfate ion radicals in another step react with sulfite and sulfate ion radical reaction and sulfate. This, the, the, the difference must be understood. Here peroxomonosulfate ion reacts to form perox, this peroxomonosulfate ion radical reacts with sulfite ion to form peroxomonosulfate ion. Here peroxomonosulfate ion radical reacts to form sulfate ion radical here. And this sulfate ion radicals react with sulfite ion to form SO4 2 negative SO3 3. This reaction is very fast. The rate constant, my molecular rate constant is around 1 to 10 to the power 9. And this, this, this peroxomonosulfide ion reacts with SO3 negative to form oxidizes to sulfate ion. The termination step, there, there are two termination steps. One, the reduced metal ion reacts with SO5 2 negative to Mn plus plus SO5 2 negative or Sulfate ion radicals reacts with organics to form sulfate ion and non-chain products. The key chain carrier in the whole process is this. This is responsible for oxidation. The sulfate ion radical. The chemistry of sulfate ion radical is now being used in wastewater wastewater contamination. This is being produced and this is being used to destroy several organic contaminants which may be present in a water sample. Metal ion catalyzed oxidation of aqueous SO2. Several metal ions, iron, manganese, copper, still other, which may be present or may not be present, 
from anthropogenic sources and soil are the major catalyst in the atmosphere. These are the catalysts. Our soil samples, they have iron, they have manganese, they have copper, small trace amounts, and these trace amounts are sufficient. Metal oxides are the major constituents of anthropogenic materials, material particle emissions, and they fly as what happens when high temperature combustion takes place. And then what happens? The metal metals are converted to their high, high, highest oxidation state oxides. That is how iron oxide, copper oxide, magnesium dioxide are formed and they are released in the atmosphere. In the aquated aerosol particles, the leaching of soluble metal compounds introduces metal ice in the atmosphere. For example, if there is a rain water or there is cloud water, there is aerosol. And there is an aerosol, there is a water film, so it becomes aquated aerosol. The soluble part which is present in aerosol, this will dissolve in it. And, and, and this, the, the soluble part may have metal ions which are catalysts, for example, iron, magnesium, or copper. So this is how metal ions are introduced in the rainwater or in aerosols. Iron is the most important trace metal present in all aqueous media such as rainwater, cloud water, fog and much. I may add that iron is the most important universal catalyst for this sulfur dioxide oxidation in water. And this has been thoroughly studied. There has been more than 100 studied on this particular reaction. And there are reviews available on this. Iron, the catalysis by iron will depend upon the pH because speciation of iron 3 changes. When the pH is low, it is iron present is iron Fe3 plus iron, for example, pH 1. But at low pH, Less than 2.5, it is iron 3 plus or FeOH 2 plus. At high pH, it is present like this. The hydroxide complexes. And at still higher pH, for example, 5, 6, the polymeric iron species are present there. Kinetics of metal ion catalyzed oxidation of sulfur for O2. We discussed, the, we give the example of catalysis by iron because it is most important. In low pH solutions, less than pH 3, it obeys the rate law. Rate equal to minus D sulfur 4 upon DT equal to K into sulfur 4 concentration into catalyst concentration of iron 3. The copper catalyzed reaction obeys a similar rate law. Manganese catalysis has a more complicated rate law, but all these reactions follow a radical mechanism. This is common to all of them. And the sulfate ion radical as a 4 negative is the carry species which carry the radical chain. Catalysis by aerosol particles, the suspended particle matter it is an inhomogeneous mixture of large number of substances, silica, minerals, rock powder, fly ash, soil particle, metal ion and what not. This part, this, this aerosol particles may also catalyze. How? This SO2 oxidation of due to their incorporation in atmospheric water, either due to surface or least metal ions in the catalysis or both. Let me repeat it. The catalysis by aerosol can be due to the surface. The metal ion, the, the aerosol gets incorporated in the raindrop or atmospheric water over the, its surface. O2 and uh, sulfide, they are dissolved, they are adsorbed and they form sulfuric acid. Or the aerosol, in from aerosol, the soluble metal ions dissolve in water, the metal ions leach and they catalyze the reaction, both kinds of things. But the surface catalysis is normally unimportant. So in this module, we had opportunity to learn about oxidation pathways of sulf oxidation of dissolved sulfur dioxide, that is sulfur 4, and NO and NO2 oxides. We discussed the mechanism of all these reactions by gas phase oxidation by OH radicals. HO2 radicals and an aqueous phase by oxidants, ozone and H2O2. The catalysis by metal ions of oxidation by O2 and the mechanism that is free radical mechanism, very involved mechanism that has been briefly outlined. Thank you.